In week one, it was Matthew Fair. In week two, it was Walter Downs Bautisen. In week three, John Yines Dell was defeated by the bunker. Week four, Swiffer couldn't hit the paper. And in week five, it was a double. Richard and Darren losing in speed golf. And sadly, week six, it was Benny the Jet. Week seven, we saw two more, Papa Noof and Brendan Bones Neufeld. And now, we are down to the final four. It is Matthew Laven Lowen, quoted as saying he's here to win. Tim Freddy Friesen, Derek Fraze, and of course, Mark Peters. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another week. Week 8 in the boys of summer are back on the putting green warming up. It is the final four today. A wonderful occasion. We have simply three different locations for these guys and it is going to be a thriller. There is no elimination this week. It's right down to the nitty gritty. So we might as well take a look at the three locations. Just to note, club championship is being held August 10th and 11th. All types of golfers must be a member. Please sign up in the pro shop today. And here we go. Location number one. It is a 150-yard shot. We are on hole 16, and the boys of summer are required to hit it up, bend over the old oak tree on 16, and put it as closely as possible. The distance away from the shot will be the points they got, and they want, of course, closest and the lowest amount of points. So here we go. Matthew Laven Lowen, the first shot. He is using an 8-iron here from 150 out. It is a calm, no-wind type of shot, and it is a good one. Up, she goes into the sunlight. Looking good, but looking a bit of a pull. And yeah, it's moved on to the left side of the green. Not happy about that one is Matthew Laven Low. And there's the ball. There she is. And we have the overhead cam. We'll take a look at the distance. That's where his ball ended up. Beautiful images from Google Earth. We thank them for their donation. 22 yards away for Matt Lowen. And up next is Mark Big Man Peters, the Terminator. Nine iron. I tell you, these guys know how to hit them. 150 yards, he too puts it up, he's taking a look at it and it is looking good and uh, up and to the left a little bit of a pull, maybe trying to hit that one a little bit too hard. So there's Mark Peters as we walk past the 16th green over to about the 7th tee box actually. Uh, Mark showing a little bit of a bit of a pull so we take a look and we zoom in here on Mark's shot. And there he is. We see Mark with a circle. That is uh, the symbol for a golf ball, that white dot. And it is 29 yards away, so he receives 29 points. Up third and probably one of the biggest surprises thus far in the Winkler Big Break is Derek DQ Phrase. This gentleman is known for hitting a long club. Example, exhibit A is what I wanted to say there, folks. A pitching wedge. From 150 yards, this gentleman is something of a freak in regards of the golf swing. And here he goes, donning the black glove. And ooh, that one looked nice. That one is right on line, actually, for Derek. He's liking that little twirl. Mmm, baby, he's saying. Mmm, baby, get close. And ooh, just short, it appears. As Derek questions it as well, he's hard to see from way back there. Looks like he likes it. It is on the short stuff, and there it is, just short of the pin. A beautiful shot by Derek. DQ phrase, and there is the golf ball, and 18 yards away. So beautiful shot by Derek, and actually in first place with that shot. So 18 points for Derek as our final competitor in the final four come up to the tee box, Tim Freddy Fratang Friesen. Eight iron as well for Freddy, who is just having a good time in life these days. And he should because he is 
a A plus dude. The only lefty remaining and actually the only lefty to participate in this year's big break competition. And Fratang's liking it as well. And ooh, launch her up a little bit long and a little bit left. And it looks like Freddy is a little bit unpleased with that one. And must have flared it out a little bit to the left as we zoom in. And not a bad shot though, and actually the closest. After round one, 12 yards away, just on the fringe of the green, and Freddy in location of the pin, is our first round leader. So Tim with 12, Derek with 18, and Matt and Mark with 20 plus. We move to challenge number two. Once again, folks, there are no elimination this week. This week. It is the worst guy to go. It is a 20 yard pitch shot. It is downhill, downwind, and down grain. These boys of summer take to the back of the 16th green, where this is one of the cagiest shots you'll find at Winkler Centennial. The only positive here is that the boys of summer are facing a pin that is on the front part of the green, so they do have a bit of green to work with. Here's Matt Lowen, who's currently in third place with 22 points. So, whoa, swing and a miss just by the hole. And the fast greens here at Winkler Centennial show the run out there. It is downhill, as mentioned before, 11 feet away. So if I'm doing the math correctly, that gives him a total of 33. And people, I don't often make mistakes. Here is Mark Peters, who currently is in fourth place. He was the one that hooked the ball over to about the seventh tee box. And Mark Peters, not known for a short game, but can get crafty there's a nice lofter and that's going to need to settle there i like it i like it mark here it comes and ooh, just running out as well so off to the fringe that doesn't matter folks but he is 10 feet away we're giving him additional 10 points shake of the head there mark knows with only one location remaining he is in some doo-doo. I will try to bleep that if I'm not allowed. I apologies for the dirty word of doo-doo. And Derek Fraze coming up here. And oh, beautiful, beautiful loft on that ball. Hoping to make it stop. This is a beauty, folks. Look at this golf shot by Derek Fraze. What judgment. Four and a half feet away. My word. Derek Phrase is executing in the most dramatic times here on Winkler Big Break. And a crazy stat has never been in Elimination Challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm just shocked at his uh, ability this week. And here's Freddie, known for his short game. Fratang, the lefty, known for his short game, just as his buddy Phil Mickelson is. Freshly off a of British Open. And here he is, eight feet. Nice shot by Fritz. Very nice, safely on to the next round as they all are. So here are the second round results. Derek obviously was the closest there for four and a half feet. It was a thing of beauty. And the boys of summer, here are the totals for the second round. And Derek Frey's in first place safely, but it's Matt and Mark still on the brink of elimination. Those two boys are heart pumping material here as we turn. To the 17th and we look at the third location a 30 yard pitch shot from the center of the fairway it is go time for these gentlemen it is go time indeed because this is where it is make or break for somebody ladies and gentlemen one man will be exiting the big break after this here location and it is up first none other than mark peters currently sitting in fourth so he's got to put himself in a good position by chipping it close. Here we go. Spinner. Oh, it just missed the cup. Imagine if that hit the cup. Nice shot, Mark. So Mark Peters is in a bit of a hot bother. Some British show, or even South Africans might say that. I wouldn't because I'm not. I'm a Canadian and happy to be Canadian. Um, I guess you could be a South African and Canadian. Uh, such as our pro here, uh, Winkler Pro Shop Manager and Head Professional Greg Hesumis. And here is the associate to be, Matthew Levin-Lowen, a pitch shot. 
And ooh, that one's a nice one. So he lost her up there nice and safely, and he hopes that's enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not, we are not producing the numbers here for a reason. That reason being, hold the suspense, baby, because this is do or die for somebody. Derek Fraze, however, has got to be feeling pretty good from where he's at right now. And he's just got to stay in the moment because as soon as he believes that he is safe, he might scald this one and put himself out of the bloody competition. Because we have seen everything here at the Winkler Big Break, including week two when Papa Noof almost scalded his dreams away. And oh, once again, Derek softly touching it up there. And this guy is in the zone. Derek Fraze in the black t-shirt in the beige shorts is looking fine. And here he is, Tim Friesen, currently sitting in second. Not a shot that intimidates this kid. He goes up and down here 86% of the time, every time. And that, my friend, would probably make 87% because that is a bloody close. Fratang's gotta feel good. So here we go, the shots are done. The boys will count it up for us. What are the results gonna be? What is going to happen here in week eight? The final four, here it is. Third week challenge, sorry, third challenge results. Derek Fraze, four and a half. Freddie, four, two thirds. Mark, uh, 12 and a third. What does that mean? What does that mean in the final results? Who's on the bottom? Who, oh no, Mark Peters at 51 and a half points is eliminated from the break break centennial. Next time on Winkler Big Break, the boys of summer are down to three, and all it will be is a one hole sudden death match play, stroke play, you name it, the winner take all folks. Three boys are left in the boys of summer, as one will be crowned Big Break champion. We'll see you next time on the Big Break.